A few days ago I was working out outside this guy that I knew from middle school walking over to me and I noticed something strange about him. We started talking and he was bigger than me. He had way bigger arms than me. However, he had these pimples, he had these huge eye bags. He was slouched over and then he told me something at which I just couldn't keep my laughing. He's done his bulk and so what he eats is Greek yogurt and to get his calories in he puts in three big tablespoons, three of crystal sugar just to hit his calories as if you can't hit your calories with stuff like potatoes or something and so i started talking with him and i told him that it's bad for his testosterone levels it's bad for his health it's bad for his gut and everything that comes along with it and he told me that he doesn't know what to do else of course the only thing that he watches is sam sulek and so he probably doesn't even know any better and then he started about what he did in his day he usually games eight hours a day on the weekend Eight fucking up. Imagine what he could do with those eight hours when it comes to preparing food. Maybe even starting a business. And that also explains his fucking posture. You see, I sit here on this desk quite a lot because I work here. This is my office. And so I sit a lot. Yeah, of course. So my posture isn't perfect. However, however, I don't walk around like this. Maybe you're just the same as him. Maybe you throw in even five spoons of crystal sugar just to get your calories in. But how do you feel? How do you actually feel when you look into the mirror? Do you have this this, this, this power, this energy. Do you jump out of bed to work towards your goals or you wake up slouched because you ate a meal 10 minutes before you went to bed just to hit your protein once again? You see, most gym bros don't even look any further than fitness. And yeah, they're off way better than most people nowadays. However, what if I told you that the foods that you consume actually have an impact on how you feel mentally? Yes, your gut and your brain is actually connected. So you can look amazing. However, if you just keep eating those processed protein shakes or drinking them, You'll feel like shit. You just will. Because you do and you drink that shit. It also fucks up your testosterone. So even though you're strong, you still feel a bit weak inside. You're poisoning your fucking body just for the gains. On top of that, you need to look further, as I said. You working out two hours a day doesn't make you productive. A lot of people tell me that working out is the best way to cultivate discipline. And I disagree. Bro, after the first time you see some progress, the gym is not hard anymore. You just go out of routine. You go out of habit. Unless you feel sick or you have some illness, then going to the gym isn't hard. It just isn't because it's a habit. And habits are automated. And I've actually been working out for about two years with the same mindset. Just get my protein in. Just no, no, actually, I didn't even track my calories. I only tried to get in as much protein as I could. So I ate those 0% fat Greek yogurts full of estrogenics, which fucked up my testosterone. And so I wondered why at 16 years old, I felt like a bitch. Now, the last few months, I've actually been improving myself when it comes to my diet. I stopped consuming processed says dairy which is full of estrogen which is basically the women hormone so you, so you can think about what that does to your body <coughs> gyno and i started taking a look further i started reading studies i started educating myself on what your gut does with your body and how you can take care of it to feel better then that led me to a high fat diet which is literally the opposite of what the fitness industry tells you to eat so on every single saturday i whoa whoa so Every single Saturday, I visit a local farm which produces grass-fed beef. No antibiotics, no bullshit given, just grass-fed beef. No reduced fat beef, just eat fats. Fats are healthy, fats, is li fats are literally what give you energy. I take glass bottles with me. This is not the right bottle, but glass, not plastics. And there I can fill it with raw milk. Raw milk is actually really good for your gut as well. It's full of fat as well. And it has a lot of calories. And that brings me to the point. You don't need sugars to hit your calories. You need fats. Healthy fats. And now you might be wondering. Aren't you getting fatter now? No. I'm gaining weight. And, and the fat that was on my stomach whilst I was still on my fucking rice pasta bowl diet is starting to disappear right now. On top of that, I feel much more energized. I don't have these big huge crashes during the day. My, my energy is mostly like this. And to make it even better, my energy is mostly like this. I'm energized basically all the time. Here's what I look like whilst I was still on my carb and estrogenic dairy diet. And here's what I look like now, which is about one month, maybe two months later, whilst I'm on this high fat, just pure whole food diet. And it's mostly the difference in my mental health. I wake up energized. I have that zest that I used to have whilst I was still a 14 year old kid getting 20 boners in one single class. And this is not all. There's much more to life than just the gym. Yeah, there is. In the gym, whilst you have a pump with your most tightest shirt on, do you feel confident? Yeah, you probably do. However, how do you feel when you're just walking around your town? Do you still feel the same way? Probably not. Have you ever tried mindfulness? Literally paying attention to your thoughts and not letting them control you. Which is what's happening with most people going to the gym because they get body dysmorphia. They start looking at every single detail of their body and they can't handle their thoughts and so they feel shit 24-7. Have you looked into maybe starting your own online business? Which is what most smart people are doing right now because, spoiler alert, 
your job will be replaced in 10 years. Have you tried improving your relationships with your mother, with your father, maybe with your girlfriend, or maybe you don't have one because you can't even stay present for two seconds because you're addicted to Sam Sulek shorts? You need to take all these facets of life and improve them all, not just the gym. And life gets way more fun that way because every single day you're noticing improvements, not only when you walk into the gym. So since you're still addicted to the gym, which I myself am too, by the way, you can start with removing those fucking processed sucralose bullshit protein shakes. Have you ever looked at the back of this protein shake and actually thought about what it does to your body? Get some non-flavored grass-fed whey protein. Oh, but it tastes bad. You're a fucking bitch. Start using honey and sea salt as your pre-workout instead of this synthetic pre-workout. And once again, if you think that this isn't worth it, you literally feel better mentally. And in the end, all that matters is how you feel mentally. You can be sick, you can have cancer, I don't know what the fuck you can have. You can have the biggest fucking lump of gyno on your chest. But if your mental health is stable, you'll feel better than the rest. You won't rock around in the gym like this with your fucking mouth open all the time because mentally you're stable. And as I said, a big part of your mental health is your gut health. So start improving it. If your protein powder transforms into orange juice just by you shaking a bottle, it's probably processed and it's probably gonna fuck up your gut health. And to stop neglecting your mental health, you can start doing two very simple habits. The first one is meditating. Don't click off because you have the mental health of a 14 year old emo. Your mental health sucks. The fact that you wanted to click off because this didn't sound fun already tells enough about your mental health. Right, it's simple. You can download an app called Medito. I'm not sponsored by it or anything, but it's a great app to get you started on, well, the meditation process. It takes you through all these simple steps. But in the end, meditation is literally closing your eyes or I'm just keeping it open, I don't give a fuck. Noticing a thought and not emotionally connecting with that thought. Thoughts are just thoughts. So if I close my eyes and I think about the fact that my arms aren't as big as I want to, then I can one, start crying like a little bitch or I can just accept that it's just a thought. It doesn't mean anything. And in your head, you can let it fly away into the not giving a fuckness. See what I mean? You just look at the thought with a stoic mindset. It's just a thought because it is. It's not reality. This, you see this? This is reality. Yeah? Your thoughts aren't. Also, the rest is shit on a sugary, estrogenic, gyno diet. You're starting to improve your gut health, your mental health, so you can be stable and you can feel confident. And maybe you'll finally get a girlfriend, because guess what? The reason you don't have a girlfriend isn't because of your body, because chances are you're quite jacked, because you're a gym addict. It's either one, because you can't stay present, and you literally scroll on your phone while talking to another woman, or you just don't have the balls to even talk to them in the first place. So, bro, start improving yourself holistically, and you can see yourself transform, not only mentally, but also physically, just like me. If you're interested in more stuff like this, and if you want to expand your knowledge besides push pull leg splits and crystal sugar then subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bro